In this video, I want to give you an overview of what a pool circulation system comprises of. So what you've got here on the right hand side is a schematic and I'm going to go through it uh, in sequence. So the pool itself um, is comprised of you know, a, a tank and this particular pool is a, a deck level pool which means that there is a, a transfer channel here uh, going around the, per the perimeter of the pool into which water flows um, because a, a deck level pool comes right up to the surface of the water. Um, so here it is on the um, on a photo and uh, it drains down into a balance tank. So in a lot of pools you can't actually see the balance tank but you might see the manhole cover for it which is here. So that manhole cover is basically providing access to a balance tank into which that surface water flows into. Uh, what you've also got is at the bottom uh, in this these this section here are um, sump outlets and you can see those on the photograph here so water is being drawn out of the pool at the bottom via those sump outlets and it's also overflowing uh, into the transfer channel into the balance tank and into the into the plant room and um, see so the first thing it hits when it gets into the plant room is the you know the, the pumping side of things this is really the the heart of the system um, the circulation pumps and uh, what they look like something like something like that on on smaller systems where you've got water being uh, drawn in here um, going through a strainer basket and then up the strainer basket that's here and here like on this system there's two pumps and the equivalent thing is is there the strainer basket is there to protect the pump itself because within the pump there's an impeller in that bit which is being powered by this electric motor spinning pretty quickly any um, small bits of um, pollution such as uh, even a, a hair clip or something like that if it gets into the um, the pump impeller this bit here is called the uh, the impeller it can do quite a bit of damage um, so the pumps are actually drawing water in um, so everything on this side of the system is under suction um, so from the base of the pool um, right right the way through into the circulation pumps all of that is under is under suction and then onwards it pushes it out it's not under suction anymore it's going to be under pressure from that point on um, here we've got a flow rate meter um, this is by the way this is what um, it might look like on a larger system these types of pumps you might find on a smaller system but on a larger system it might be more like more like that where you've got the um, this bit is actually the strainer basket in there and um, you know, here, here's sort of like the pump itself and the uh, the electric motor um, powering it there so in this photograph uh, water is coming in through in this direction but um, yeah what you've also got is a flow rate meter that's what a flow rate meter might look like so that is measuring the flow of water through the pipework um, and usually it's giving you the measurement in meters cubed per hour on this one 
it looks like it's just shy of uh, 30 cubic meters an hour. So that would mean that the flow rates on this particular pool um, is uh, yeah just just shy of 30 meters cubed per hour. Or it might be might say 29 meters cubed per hour. So that's the that's that bit of the um, of the schematic. And then what happens is it goes into the sand filters. Usually sand is used inside of filters, although there are alternatives, but sand is the most commonly used filtration media. What that looks like in your plant room is something something like that. So you've got water. Um, the pumps are out of shot on this photograph, but water's basically coming uh, down in that direction and is going into that into that filter there whilst at the same time it's coming across here and going into that filter as well and then it's coming out at the bottom um, sorry it's coming out at the bottom here and here and is moving in that direction and going down here and this bit here is the heat exchangers that's the equivalent of that on the uh, schematic um, if you take a, a closer look here you'll see two lagged pipes that are the uh, it's the domestic hot water system so that's hot water um, same same sort of water that feeds the radiators and the hot taps um, but what you've got inside that um, inside this section here is basically a copper coil connecting the flow and return. Um, and what you can see is a little bit of pool water gets flowed through and comes back into the main circulation pipe work. And that basically heats up heats up the water. What you may have in your pool is a, a UV disinse disinfection system. Uh, what that looks like is basically a, a chamber, a cylindrical chamber through which water gets, gets flowed. So water might be sort of coming in that direction, going through the chamber and then back out and when it goes through it gets bombarded with uh, UV light being emitted from the lamp and it destroys contaminants um, via radiation so that's that bit of the system and here and here you'll notice that there are some chemicals uh, being injected so it's very important that you know where the where the chemicals are being injected so this one traces back to the chlorine automatic dosing system and this one leads back to the acid dosing so they're being dosed in there what that might look like on a system is something like this where you've got um, an automatic, uh, an automatic controller, um, which is in communication with the chemical pumps here and here, and are basically telling it to either pump or not pump, as the case may be. Um, and it doesn't actually show it on the diagram, but here. Um, you've got an automatic control system like a computerized system that is basically receiving information from a couple of probes or analyzers here now what's happening if I just get rid of that um, markup uh, what you've got going on is 
a sample of water is being fed into here that's basically coming from the pool and it's being analyzed here by the there's a there's a, a chlorine uh, analyzer and a a pH analyzer and what happens is it sends the information to the control unit here and then that in turn communicates with the chemical pumps that are sat on top of your your chemicals and then it gets sort of re-injected back into the main circulation pipe work um, the only bit of that that you can see on the diagram is uh, here where there's a sample line being taken um, shortly before where the flow meter is situated um, and typically um, once the water um, comes out of the um, analyzer it'll either go to drainage or it'll be re-injected back uh, into the system pipework on the suction side of the circulation pumps so if I was going to sketch that out on the uh, the diagram so you can see um, where it occurs it might continue on to to the um, the automatic dosing unit here which is the uh, the equivalent of this bit and then basically re-inject back there so there'd be a basically a loop always moving around being analyzed um, communicating with the chlorine dosing unit and the pH dosing unit so that's the basic overview of a swimming pool circulation system obviously the system that you've got in place um, at your own facility might differ slightly um, the one thing that all systems have got in in common are, is the fact that um, certain things do occur in the same order so you always have pumping leading on to uh, filters uh, leading on to heating that tends to be pretty much consistent um, in all swimming pools pumping then filters and then heating other than that um, there can be a little bit of variance so you can end up with systems where the chlorine is dosed prior to the filtration system so instead of uh, chlorine being dosed uh, at this point you might have some systems where it's being dosed here it's just that with this particular system there is um, an ultraviolet disinfection element to it which means that because ultraviolet destroys chlorine it wouldn't do you much good to inject chlorine in that part of the system and only to be neutralizing it in that part of the system but if you haven't got if you haven't got ultraviolet disinfection then what you can quite often find is that the chlorine injection point is actually prior to the filtration system.